Bonafide Hustler here, another vlog. Let's see what we buy, let's see what we sell. Let's get this vlog started. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler comes to you live from the inside of the Baudam Gym. There's a lot of good light in here, plus it's really clean and cool. So, anyway, don't forget to follow me, the Bonafide Hustler, at Instagram, at the Bonafide Hustler. That's right. You can also get the free guide, okay? And it can teach you 50 items that you can buy and resell that you can commonly find at like thrift stores and garage sales. Go pick up that guy. It's the first link down below and it's free. So I'm starting this vlog early in the morning because I'm going to leave something outside the door that is going to sell for 50 bucks. And I'm $10 into it. It's nothing super special, but sitting over here in the corner, well, it's actually prepackaged to go to eBay already, but it ain't selling on eBay. It's actually going to sell at my front door. What is it? Let's take a look. Let's shake it. Let's shake the profit out. What is it? There it is. It's a Cinchilla Patagonia fleece vest. Women's cream color. Awesome Cinchilla. 50 bucks. Now, if this was like Aztec printed or, you know, has a, a different kind of like uh, colorway that was, you know, a lot more print oriented, it'd be worth probably 80 bucks to like 120 or something like that. Anyway, this one is going to be put outside the front door. I'll probably put it in a plastic bag and the person will put cash under the mat and we'll see later if I get ripped off or not, or will there be cash under the mat? We'll see. And man, when I get back from workout, I'm gonna show you something I found yesterday that sold in three hours, okay? So, uh, you know, sometimes when you sell something that quick, you, you have to wonder, like, did I price it too low or whatever? We don't know. So, something did sell, and uh, I'll show you that after workout. It's like eight o'clock in the morning right now. It's so important to get movement involved in your life, and so I, always work out in the morning. I get movement in my life also in the evening. Um, and it's so important because if you can't, you know, think clearly, I mean, how are you supposed to perform in business, uh, relationships, love, friendships, all that kind of stuff. How can you bring the best version of yourself forward if, you know, if you're stuck up here? So movement allows me to clear my mind in the morning, uh, gain strength, um, feel super good. And uh, yeah, so important. So you don't have to be working out like in the morning like I do or anything like that, but some sort of movement in the morning, very important, and then revisit some sort of movement sometime in the evening, and you should be pretty fine. That's the first thing. Let's cut to a little bit of workout footage. Here we go. Whoosh. All right, so I just got done with the workout and I got a bike back here that I'm gonna meet up with someone outside of this Goodwill and I'm gonna sell it for, I don't even know what I'm asking for this thing. It's a $25 bike, I think like 300. I don't know, maybe 250. We'll see, but I know I'm gonna sell it, that's for sure. Oh, $200. That was the price of the bike and uh, yeah, so time to go find more stuff. Made like 175 on that. It's not too bad. Start off the day with 175 in profit. I'll take it. All right, so I just came from that Goodwill right there and I uh, popped on this really cool rocker type outdoor chair. It's a rocking one, which is really neat. Don't know what to ask for that. That was like five bucks out the door. And then I got these two kind of glass vases like this. I guess that's what they're called. Hell if I know. Um, I'm gonna throw these in the booth for like, I don't know. 70 to 100 dollars a piece and they were 15 dollars out the door each one so looks like i have to go to the booth at some point today so that was a good bike sale and subsequently some cool finds that i already brought to the antique booth i did ask around uh i think 85 for the chair maybe 90. it's a pretty cool uh, vintage lawn chair for sure rocking style as well you know it has a, like a rocker base uh let me show you a couple things that sold within one day two items that sold within one day the first one right here vapor max right fly knit with the actual fly ease lock and release system as well oreo colorway pretty nice condition look at this 30 bucks sold within one day for 125 i believe could be 130 i think it's 125 though pretty nice i took the offer why not the other item that sold is actually in here it's a timbuktu authority backpack sold within one day and that was around 13 bucks or maybe 12 bucks and it sold for a hundred so that was nice and that was actually from the uh previous vlog um it was in my truck so that's in here and uh needs to be shipped off okay it's the night time and it's time to see if 
I got paid for that stuff that I left out this morning. It was just like one little fleece thing, but you know, did I get ripped off? Let's see. I might be in the process of getting ripped off right now. I'm not even kidding. And that's for another video. I'm going to kind of give it a day to see if I'm getting ripped off or not, but I might be getting ripped off on something like big time. So anyway, um, let's see. Here's the mat. Now look, checkered vans. What do you expect, guys? Oh, there's cash under there. Look, cash. So we'll see what we find tomorrow. I can't wait. And uh, it's going to be a hustle day for tomorrow for sure. It's going to be fun. Actually, it was 40 bucks. Wait a minute. I must have listed it for 40 then. I have no idea what sometimes my pricing is crazy. Today when I sold that bike this morning, I didn't even know what I had priced the bike at. I literally, I'm sitting on like 15 or 20 bikes and I'm, I'm forgotten what I've priced a lot of these things at. So maybe I did, you know, put that fleece thing for 40 bucks. Oh, anyway, whatever. Even if I put it for 50 and the person jipped me 10, that's on them. I'm not gonna go calling them and pursuing for 10 bucks. I just don't do that stuff, but yeah. See where the day takes us tomorrow. I can't wait. If you're enjoying these videos, hit the like button. Don't forget. All right, let's see what we can get into today. This is a pair of Nintendo vans that I picked up on a, two vlogs ago, and it was 10 bucks, sold for 86. That's going out. Got a cooler for some eggs at a farmer's market today that I got to pick up. And I got to pick up some stools that I bought yesterday um, from Facebook Marketplace. I got to pay cash for those. And then I'm pretty sure I'm getting ripped off on something, but we'll see. I'll give it like three to five more hours, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting ripped off. And I'll explain that maybe in its own video. My mental, my mental kind of, you know, my mental gears are turning and I'm like, I don't know, 30% kind of like pissed, you know? And there's 70% of me that's just like, focus on like what's important, which is the income stream and, uh, you know, find some cool things today. So let's see what we get into today. I'll bring this to the post office and then we're gonna begin the day. And we can pick up those cool stools. Beautiful day outside. Just picked up the actual bar stool chairs. Uh, both of them for hundred bucks. Now the thing is you can get on Amazon and get something that's pretty much like this for 125 each chair or something like that. But in the booth, I'll be asking about a hundred each chair and they're in great condition. They're pretty cool. They're definitely the more rustic ones, which are nice. They're not like the really polished up ones. So that's cool. Um, I just had someone come up to me in a truck over there. He's like, whoa, those are the coolest stools ever. And like, so, you know, that's the kind of uh, uh, feeling that people will get when they are in an antique mall and they see something like this. They're probably just gonna buy it right on the spot. And that's kind of like the goal. So anyway, these are awesome. Let's go, uh, let's go get some eggs and then let's go a little bit. All right, at this farmer's market over here, gonna grab some badass eggs from Shirtail Creek Farm. Super eggs, oh yeah. All right, so from Shirtail Creek Farm, they come to this farmer's market, we got some breakfast patties, I cannot wait. And then these awesome eggs down there, the best of the best. Gotta spend up for good food. What goes in your body is really important. And uh, yeah, so I spend up for the important stuff especially high quality proteins. Carbohydrates and fats, you know, I definitely uh, can buy that at other stores, but when it comes to like meats and, you know, the highest quality fish, like I try to go to farmer's markets for that stuff. All right, so from that Goodwill right there, I picked up this mirror. I gotta put mirrors in my booth. Look at that, checkered vans. I got this mirror for about 15 bucks, and I'm gonna be asking, you know, mirrors sell really quick in my booth, and they always seem to net me between like, you know, mirrors like this would net me 78 to about 90 bucks and I sell them within a week or two So I think I'm gonna price this one to where I make a hundred on this one something like that So anyway, yeah, pretty cool thing. Nothing special. You know, I usually like the gold, you know uh, Framed ones, but I'm experimenting more with just different colors and random stuff And I think someone's gonna pick this one up. I think a hundred bucks is fair Just came out of that goodwill right there and I <laughs> Upon walking in I found this awesome jacket by gallery sport I mean, look at this thing. It's a women's jacket. It is super cool looking. Just multicolored, just crazy. I'm about to go to the booth to drop off that mirror and those stools. So I was like, I'm just gonna drop this off as well. I'll be asking, you know, there's one on eBay, I think right now for like 75 with shipping. And in the booth, I think I'm just gonna ask uh, 80 or 90. And I do think when someone just casually passes by, they'll pick it up for that much. I really do think so. It's in good condition, but uh, definitely a snazzy jacket for sure. Look at that thing. 
So cool. So I just got home. This little guy is waiting for me. Hey, little guy. What you up to? But then I got on Facebook Marketplace and I saw this mirror is up for sale. 20 bucks. I have cash. And I think I'm just going to pick it up and put it in the booth right now. This is, what the, this is how fast the hustle goes and you just got to gotta go with it. So I'm going to pick up this mirror, probably drop it off in the booth. What good does it do, you know, sitting at my house or in my truck? It makes no sense. So I may as well just drop it off right now. So that's what I'm going to do. Pick up a mirror. Mirror sell fast in the booth. I gotta get more in there. Let's go get this thing. Exit right to Duval Road, Balcones Woods Drive. Such a beautiful day outside. Definitely gonna get some time on the bike today. Um, but I, I would just really want to, you know, crush the hustle while the hustle is nice and ripe and fresh. I find myself the checking. Right lane to exit right Shut to up! Road, Shut Balcones up! Woods Drive. I find myself checking Facebook Marketplace so many times a day now, like somewhere between eight and probably 15 times a day. And this is how I find some great deals, for sure. Pull up to the house, gotta get the mirror somehow. I don't know if the person saw me pull up or what. The Cheddar Master is here, come out, come out now, come on, I'm here. I'll sign autographs and I'll make money on your mirror. Let's do this, come on. Okay, this mirror is really heavy. I just put it in my truck and it's neat it has these like little painted pieces to it it's just cool i think i'm gonna ask like 150 for it something like that it's nice it's definitely a one-of-a-kind mirror further along in the day someone asked me about this helmet right here for 40 bucks i think i'm like five dollars into it something like that so uh get it sold locally he also asked if i have any other helmets for sale and i actually do but i haven't listed this one yet and this one i'll probably just ask like 20 bucks for it but this one's like significantly better so we'll let it go for 40 bucks it was listed for 50. it's a specialized echelon two helmet without the MIPS interior and this one right here is just a Freetown with the MIPS interior like little slidable brain mesh thingy anyway this one's in good condition actually has a light on the back pretty neat but surprisingly this is the helmet that originally is around uh, like 80 to 100 dollars so listed for 50 took a 40 dollar offer Let's see if the guy comes and picks it up okay I think the guy's here I saw a truck outside so next shot should be some money all right that truck is taking off and there is the money right there. Bought both helmets. The other helmet, the Freetown, I don't know if I said it, but that was free that came with a bike like, I don't know, like a month ago or something like that. So I have really no use for it. It was a size medium. And yeah, pretty good deal. Sell a random helmet for 20 bucks that I had never listed. I'll take it. Whoosh. It's the next day. And for this much right here, can you see it? Can you see it? Take a look. Let's see, let's see. Can you see it? $17.49 with a 10% off kind of thing. $18 at the door. Got this specialized hard rock bike right here. Nice vintage-y kind of logos too. 18 bucks. It's probably not gonna need very much, honestly. Like inflate the tires. Shifting seems good. Uh, I just sold a hard rock yesterday for $200. It was a male's model. It was a male uh, frame size, but uh, this one, step through frame, nice coloring. I'm gonna list this one for 200. Cool. So from that Goodwill back there, they're playing some really loud music. I would get a copyright strike anyway. But yeah, I found, I found these cool Doc Martin boots. And they're not just any ordinary boot. These are actually Triumph boots and they're pretty high and they got the floral interior as well. Floral Doc Martens are crazy sellers on eBay. But you know, I think this was, this was 30 bucks and I think I think I could probably get about 200 for these, quite honestly. So um, they're in pretty good condition. I wanna make sure to get something kind of dull and get this little white thing off. But they're in great condition and the laces are like, kind of like lace. The laces are lace. What? Anyway, look out for floral Doc Martens. I'll tell you that. They definitely sell pretty quick. Last time I had a pair of these things, man, I mean, it went pretty quick, like probably a couple days. So I'm taking a bunch of pictures. It's like the next day of just random stuff, stuff that's just been sitting in my house for a while. You know, to, to list each one of these vests on eBay and to ship them out would just cost a whole lot of money. They're not the greatest vests. It's like a North Face. There's a, there is a Cinchilla right there and then there's a normal Patagonia uh, fleece vest right here. It's just going to eat up my money to ship it uh, off, you know. So I think what I'm going to do is list them locally and then just, you know, probably ask 20 for that one. 20 for this one, maybe 30 for this cinchilla right here. It's not the greatest cinchilla, maybe 40 for this one, we'll see. This is a North Face A5 series 
uh, retro backpack. Really cool, very desirable. I've had this as part of my bags for a while, I just never use it. So I'm gonna list it for around one to $200 and it's got the really big zippers on it and everything. So this is not just like some normal North Face backpack. It even has a thing for, I think like an ice pick or something like that. But anyway, really nice condition backpack. Um, bought it a while back. It's time to get rid of it. All right, so I went thrifting today. It's another day and I found another pair of Vapor Maxes. And it's super cool because these were some that I was just kind of geeking out over because I love this color scheme. It's called the Moab color scheme, which is actually a throwback color scheme to an 80s or a 90s ACG, like a Nike ACG, all conditions gear uh, shoe called the Moab. So here's the Moab colorway of the Vapor Maxes I found today for 20 bucks out the door in mint condition, size 11. I mean, just looking so good. There's not even like any kind of scuffs anywhere on this thing. Inside tag looks cherry, nice reflecty, air bubbly things. We got nice, you know, Portuguese man o' war bubbles right there. Looking really good. This Vapor Max thing looks solid. I wish this was a size 12. I'd probably keep these. I love the Moab colorway, and they've put the colorway of Moab to like Air Force Ones and Vapor Maxes, and of course, you know, the things that were the actual Air Moabs back in the day. And they've done some reissues of that, but they're just not as cool as like the super old school ones. Uh, anyway, just, you know, remember this color scheme right here, because this is definitely a pretty wanted color scheme. Uh, these were 20 bucks and these should sell for 150 plus like all day. All right, so if you enjoy these videos, then please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love reading comments when I'm bored and just, you know, and I respond to some of them every now and then. But yeah, guys, thanks a lot for the views and, uh, you know, the comments that you guys give me. Follow me on Instagram at the Bonafide Hustler, don't forget. And I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Goodbye.